Well, hello again folks, and yep, we're back with another Odd Shots video. Same deal as before, different air rifles, at different times of year, and in different locations, all filmed through the little Tacticam 5.0 and FTS unit. So, sit back and enjoy, hey. Oh man, that's a lot of magpies. Admittedly that wasn't the best of hits, but thankfully I found and finished them off later on. Now if I could just make the best of the opportunity and get one or two of his mates to go along with him, it'd be great. But man, they're so wound up and fidgety, they're not sitting still enough to get a shot. Finally! This is a different spot, and you've probably seen me shoot here before, but I'm not on to a great start after missing that jackdaw. That big rook didn't get it so lucky though. Spoiler alert, I missed this crow. I think the pellets kept clipping an overgrown bit of hedge every time I shot to the right. No such problem shooting straight up though. Nope, missed it. Pulled the shot to the left. Oh, I'm getting good at them. You'll not believe me, but this hooded crew was at three yards. I think I overestimated my ability this time. It was a 50 yard shot, which I have the hold over for, but I wasn't sure of the wind and guessed it and wasn't within a bagel's gowl of it. That's a pretty soggy looking jackdaw there, but I think all I did was shoot air at it. Now most birds that come into this calf house steal the meal out of the troughs, but this cheeky so-and-so has learned to poke holes in the meal bags to get his share. You're not doing that again. I have a couple of jackdaws sitting up in this beam here, but I daren't take the shot because of the perspex skylight behind them. Oh, my favourite swingy target. I'm usually pretty good at these. Ah, oh, nuts. Not this time though. I hope you're not eyeing up those meal bags, hey? Oh, when did that magpie get in? Come on in, said the spider to the fly. What that's got to do with shooting jackdaws I don't know, but it does make it easier for me to pick them up afterwards. Sit at peace, would ye? Ah, got ye. Dang it, I think he ducked that.
Well, that big rook certainly didn't duck that one. Oh dear, I'm not having much luck on the right hand side of this tree. Now, that's more like it, but never had done right. This one's a bit of a longer shot, as it's actually on top of the tree, behind the one in front of me. Now, these next few clips are from a dairy farm that was having a lot of trouble with jackdaws coming into the dairy, poking through the silage for pieces of meal that the diet feeder mixes up into it for the cattle. Now, this can spread diseases back and forth to the cattle, and he actually had a few of the herd come down with salmonella because of it. So I spent a few Saturdays whittling the numbers down with the air rifle, and even went one morning with the shotgun and filmed a piece for my other channel, Nitro HV. These next few birds were at quite close range, and I had to be quick before they spotted me sitting in the corner of the shed. Here I'm shooting from a high up gantry, which gave me a great view over the shed, but I had to be very careful of where the cattle were at the time. I think this is another one of those deluded moments of grandeur, when I tried for this long range shot, but didn't realise how windy it was outside and just plucked a few feathers off the side of the bird's neck. Did you see that? Cause I didn't. The Tacticam had hardly started filming when I took the shot. Nuts. He ducked it. That's what happens when you wait around too long for the camera to start. Now these next few are overlooking a sheep feeder that the birds were coming to. Oh, just about got that one on film. I do wish the Tacticam had a quicker start up time though. Why won't this thing shoot? Ah, it's not loaded yet. Oh, you credit. Hit the barbed wire. Hands up how many of you have done that? What about a cheeky daytime rat? Can't believe that was actually the shed I was sitting in not so long ago. These next few birds were shot from a little hide that the farmer had made out of some one ton fertilizer bags. Proved quite useful too. The biggest problem I found though, was finding the right moment to squeeze the shot off. Thankfully though, I managed to get a quick follow up shot to finish the job. Ugh, oh, for goodness sake, sit still, would ye? Totally parallaxed him with that one, but just to be sure.
That was an absolute sitter. I don't know how I didn't kill it. Now that's more like it. Nuts, I've got another runner. I think I was pushing my luck with that one, but I needed to get it before it disappeared out the door. And no, I didn't shoot the pheasant, as the farmer actually likes them about, and so do I. Well folks, that's the end of another one, and I hope you enjoyed it, with all its hits, misses and what on earth did you think you were doing moments, as it'll probably take me quite a while to gather up enough clips to make another one. But, until then, take care and look after yourselves, hey.